to what's up it's jackintosh7 and in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to make a ticket server um so this is actually a lot easier than it was um a while back um so yeah it's pretty simple so let's get started uh first things first go to the link go to the link in the description and uh, i'll bring you to a um technic pack.net um and slash tech it and then you're gonna want to go to download the tech it server right here and we're just going to put that to the side wait for this to be done downloading um and then when it's done downloading which it is right now we're going to click and drag it to our desktop now we can uh, minimize google chrome or just close it um, or whatever internet browser you're using. Now you're gonna want to make a new folder on the desktop. You can name it whatever you want. You can name it Tech It Server and drag this in. Now open that up, and we're going to want to right click and hit Extract here. Um, so yeah, now we're gonna want to delete this. Make sure you delete it. Um, that will slow your server down and then you're going to want to hit launch just double click it and uh, yeah it's just going to generate the world and build all these files as you can see we just a whole bunch of files just popped up so it's just going to do that and uh, yeah right now it's building um, the world itself so yeah let's uh, wait for this to uh, be done it's almost done so I'm just going to pause alright so finished now what we're going to do is write stop and then we're just gonna wait and now we can hit enter again to, and we'll close that so all right i'm going to show you guys how to change the amount of ram in a different video um that's a little more advanced but um so yeah now you actually have a working server so to test it what you're going to want to do is run it again so run it put that over there and launch tech tech it um as you can see it took a lot it was a lot faster this time than last time um, then we're going to want to go to Technic Classic, hit login, and I'm going to also be showing you guys how to port forward, as you can probably see in the uh, title. Um, so yeah, no Hamachi for this, which is a good thing, um, in, I, in my opinion. But uh, I do like port forwarding over Hamachi. Now go to multiplayer and um, you're going to want to go to direct connect local host all right now this you can only put local host on your computer all right if you put it on your friends who's trying to join your server it's not going to work unless he's on the same uh network as you so as you can see here's the world that they generated for us it's kind of lagging right now um yeah so it's a little faster it just lags a little while while you're in here um oh i'm also recording that's why um, we can spawn some stuff in. Actually, no, we can't. Not on this. Um, there's a way to fix that, though. Um, so, yeah, let's close this. As you can see, it's working. And now we're going to port forward. So, to do that, you're going to want to um, go to 192.168.1.1. And you're going to want to put an admin. And then right for the password, put password. Unless you've changed it. Um, you should know what it is if you've changed it. Um, then you're going to want to go, This it's going to be different for every um, router. I have a Netgear router, one of the newer ones. So I just have to find where port forwarding is. So it's going to be probably one under the advanced tabs and just look for port uh, forwarding and port triggering. You should find that easily somewhere in the left. All right. Now, what this is going to do is let everybody who wants to join your server join your server. All right. Um, if we didn't do this, then your friend who lives down the street couldn't join your server. So now, what you're going to want to do is go um, and type in CMD in the uh, search and put in IP config, and then go to um, this one right here wireless LAN adapter or um, Ethernet adapter just one of those 
um, it'll be different depending wherever you can see this. We'll see this little thing right here and find your IPv4 address. All right, it should look something like this: 192.168.1, and the the last number will vary. So in this, in my case, mine's 10. So now what we're going to want to do is remember that number. Um, remember it ends in 10. Now we're going to want to go to add custom service and we're going to leave that the same service type we're just going to name it whatever in this case check it and then uh, the external starting port where it's going to be 25565 same thing with the ending port and then leave that the same leave this the same and what we're going to want to do is put in our IP address number so the the one number that we just found um, over there before in IP uh, IP config um, we're going to want to put that in here so just write dot 10 like I said it's gonna be different for everybody so your yours might be dot 10 like me but um, yeah so then hit apply and there you go that you have made a ticket server so now you're probably wondering what you put in um, what number you put in um, to get into the server so what you're gonna want to do is go to IP chicken just search yeah just search IP chicken um, and it will come up with this blue number which I'm actually going to be blocking out because of security purposes you really don't want to give people this so you might want to hide this by doing um, something which I'll do in a different tutorial but um, this will be the IP address that you'll give people to join your server um, so yeah it's really for this video it was a quick little video on how to make a ticket server hope you guys enjoyed I will be doing a regular Minecraft and a um, volts server in a little while and I will do a Mac version of each so I hope you guys enjoyed thanks for watching please rate comment and subscribe